Hey guys, how's it going? And today I have a North Carolina ranked replay for you, sent to me by, and I'm probably going to slaughter it, L. Robin C. Now, I had a hard time deciding what I wanted to make with this video. As you can see, I made a salty replay video out of it. And that's mostly due to the reactions of the team based on what happens in the battle. But we'll get more into that later. But the reason I had a hard time with this is because El Robin has a really good game and he's really a strong point for his team in this one, contributing to their eventual win. But uh, it was just such a hard choice, but I wanted to put it in this one just because of everything that goes on in chat. Because I wouldn't be able to just talk through this replay without uh, mentioning it. So you can see right now the team's debating where they want to go, what they want to do, how they want to set it up, and they've kind of decided on B. Okay. The Chappie can radar from cover, the Destroyer can sit on the cap and sonar, and as you can see by the ship sailing through my little zoomed in screen right there, uh, the battleships are falling really close behind, really close together. So uh, there might be a little bit of bump drafting here. You can see they're trying to warn each other off with horns, but only one of them's really making an attempt to turn. Now Alabama didn't feel like turning anywhere. But that's okay. So you can see the team still debating it. They're talking about the plane spotting over B. There's no carriers, but they're worried about spotter planes. And they're worried about just being holed up on C while the open water A would provide more firing lines for their battleships. But in the end, they're all going to Bravo, and it looks like the enemy team has started to appear. We've got a Bismarck and a Charles Martel. These are very battleship heavy teams. There's four battleships each side with two cruisers and one destroyer. So there can be a lot of movement from the battleships here. As long as that destroyer dies. And there he is, the Benson, right in front of the Luoyang. Now, L. Robin could be launching shots right now, but that Alabama's a little bit too close for comfort, so you can see him slowing down and letting him pass. And he does say, can a cruiser quickly cap A, since their whole team's over here. There's no reason for all of them to ball up over here. So, maybe the Kutuzov could pop over there and take it, even if he has to smoke up. Which would also give him very good firing angles onto the enemy battleships in the back line. And you can see he's kind of breaking in that direction. So here's going to be L. Robin's first shots of the match against the enemy North Carolina. And yet, there's still that little shift to enter view bullshit glitch still going on with the replays. I, I can't wait till that get, gets fixed, or at least uh, doesn't happen anymore with the replays. It's quite annoying to work with. But you can see the enemy team has actually reacted to A not being pushed on. And a lot of their battleships have actually flexed over there. There's two Bismarcks heading that way. While the enemy team is actually capping Bravo. Because the Luoyang has decided to leave it. Interesting choice. Especially since he wasn't really going to get fired on if he pressed himself up against the island. Ooh, I would have expected more out of that shot on the Bismarck. Enemy Benson has popped out in the open in front of all the battleships here. You can see the secondaries going off. The main shells aren't doing a lot though. And it looks like he's probably going to get away. But Bravo's gone. A's being capped by the enemy. And El Robin's team's not really doing too much. They're kind of doing that ball of loss, as I like to call it, where they all just kind of hold up behind a cap and, you know, shoot at stuff. They don't take any cap zones, and they don't realize that these caps actually tick up faster than normal. And there's a decent hit on the Bismarck over the island, doing about 6,500 to him. And there goes the Kutuzov, and there goes the Chapayev. Both of them decided to be out in the open water without any cover, and I guess without smoke? I don't know. How the hell do you lose both those ships that quickly? But, back to the battle, El Robin's trying to focus on that Bismarck that's capping, and the Bismarck behind him. We've got the Kutuzov smoking up right in front of that Alabama. The Alabama's, yeah, looks like he just ran into him. And L. Robin makes the choice to shoot at the Alabama because he's actually the target that's not going to be moving too fast. And he's rewarded with about 10,000 damage. But suddenly there's another problem. All three battleships here get sandwiched. And there's a North Carolina in front of them. And now the Alabama and Kutuzov are on their broadside. Thankfully they're focusing that Bismarck. 
So, North Carolina. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a little front-facing fight here where all the battleships hopefully will tear down this North Carolina. Little by little, because his front armor is pretty good. And hopefully they don't lose too much in return. You can see not a lot of damage is going off because, like I said, the front armor on a North Carolina is pretty good as long as you keep it somewhat angled so you can't get sit through the bow. And you can see it, uh... You can see it already happening in chat. The salt's starting to fly from the dead cruisers, saying that he should have dropped smoke for them, that he should be in a different place. And I just... I don't know. I don't know what the whole not really thing is either, because he's obviously very upset at the destroyer, and we'll see more of that in a bit. But Bravo's still not capped. The Charles Martel's sitting in it so that the battleships can't cap it. The enemy Bismarcks are coming around the side of the island, catching our Bismarck on the broadside, and our, our Alabama isn't too far behind him. So it's not looking too good. And that North Carolina in front of El Robin has not gone down yet, which he did just go down now, but the Tirpitz actually rammed him instead of torpedoing, I guess? It's a bit weird. So, yeah... They're kind of blaming the destroyer for being caught out in the chat. It's it's a little weird. But you can see the Bismarck has escaped. He's got very low health. And the Alabama is actually getting pounded by the Kutuzov right now. So it's not a great situation right now. They're kind of cornered over here. And they don't have a ton of support. And they also don't have a cap. So they don't have much time to work with. There's a shot on the Bismarck. Eh, 10,000 damage is not bad for the angle he was showing. And he did take a torpedo, so hopefully nothing catches him on fire. Or hopefully he does not get hit by another torpedo. Bismarck's coming straight around the corner. Takes a big hit from our friendly Bismarck. And the Charles Martel is really close behind him. And that Charles Martel does have torpedoes, and they are pretty good. I, don't, I think they're three per side. Maybe four. We gotta get rid of him and alrighty then. <laughs> One sit, four pens, we'll take out the enemy, uh, Charles Martel. But the Kutuzov has killed the Bismarck. El Robin is broadside to the enemy Alabama and just took a big hit from him. And he's trying to duck behind this island. The friendly Alabama is duking out with the enemy Alabama. The Benson just appeared behind El Robin. And the Kutuzov is way over pestering the Lo Yang. And there's a good hit on the enemy Alabama. Come on, I hope our Alabama can at least take him down a bit more before he eventually succumbs to all those fires. Doesn't look like he's going to though. He took a couple decent hits there. And yeah, he's not going to be living too much longer. So, two ships versus three. They're down 300 points. They have no caps. They're Well, El Robin's capping right now. But it's not looking too good. Uh, the enemy Alabama is not on a huge amount of health. Killing that Kutuzov right now would be a very, very pivotal moment. Because if we got him out of the way, it'd be a lot of pressure off the Luoyang. <laughs> one sit. I'm not sure if that was entirely for over penetrations. I think one of those was actually a full pen. Uh, sometimes that UI decides to lie. But El Robin has killed the Kutuzov and taken the cap. And it doesn't look like, yep, there goes the Alabama. Not long for this world. You can see the dead guy is still trying to both instruct the battleships and still mad at the destroyer for, you know, playing. I'm not entirely sure. The enemy team has realized that they might throw this. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure which cruiser that is that's complaining so much. I think it's the Chapayev. I'm not entirely sure, but he's just mad at that destroyer for not supporting them somehow. I'm not sure. <laughs> and there's, you can see he's still trying to instruct El Robin and the destroyer on how to play the game. And El Robin's, you know switch to high explosive which isn't a bad choice with just a destroyer being left the low yang is capping a which i don't think he's had a huge amount of health so he's really banking on that benson not coming up and you can see how robin keep bouncing out of being spotted 
Sled Destroyer is around somewhere. We're not entirely sure where yet, but there's his torpedoes. And there's the Destroyer. You can see him on the mini-map. He just popped up next to Lo Yang. There he is. I can't quite see the health of the Lo Yang. The chat's blocking it. There it is. So yeah, not a lot. Lo Yang, not long for this world. He did get torpedoes away, but I don't think they're going to hit that Benson. He did do a decent amount of damage to him, but it wasn't enough to sink him. And it has left El Robin alone against a Benson. So, Benson has the point lead. He could take A, which you can see he just jumped on the cap, and basically give El Robin the runaround. Dead guy is still trying to, uh, you know, instruct him. But it's you'll you'll see later in this game, and just by El Robin typing here that he's actually getting distracted by the people instructing him in chat. And while it would be nice to say, all right, the Benson's at this amount of health, uh, he may go over here. It's not a bright idea to sit there instruct a player how to use their ship, what to load for a shell. Uh, and then just continue the banter back and forth about, oh, this is why I lost my ship and whatnot. Because you'll see later, because El Robin actually mentions it in chat, that it's really distracting. But he is detected going around this corner. The Benson is somewhere out in front of him. But he did just take A. So. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Well, there's the torpedoes. There's one spread. Where's the other spread? That's tricky. He only launched one. But he has spotted. The Benson has neutralized the point gain for now, but L. Robin's going to hop in the cap and hopefully start to earn those back. And there's the other torp spread. Sadly, that was the wrong turn for L. Robin. And he took one. Yeah, some for some reason, uh, the dead guy thought saying turn left would make him turn faster. I'm not entirely sure. But, this is a problem. El Robin does not have repair. The Benson has a decently long torpedo cooldown, but it's... I think it's shorter than that repair time, so he could set a flooding on him. Wow, and here comes the stat callouts. From the Benson, or not the Benson, from the Lo Yang to the dead player that's been trying to instruct people. <laughs> I'll, I'll just let you guys watch, because this is just a big, my stats are better than yours, why'd you do this fight in chat, and it's kind of entertaining. But this is where you start seeing El Robin being distracted by the chat, and it's the main reason why I posted this. And, I don't know, didn't blame you, but your positioning was shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was blaming him for the first half of the game and was still calling him a shitter towards the end of the game, or at least the end of his uh, lifespan in this game. Yeah, they're still trying to drive out Robin's ship for him, telling him to keep his speed up while they're continuing to call each other shitters and clowns and all that sort of thing. Very interesting. Sometimes you wonder if they think there's a steering wheel for other people's ships on their keyboard. But El Robin guessed where that Benson was going correctly, turned away from the torpedoes, and now his repair is back off cooldown. So if he does take a torpedo, he can put out the flooding. Of course, he doesn't have a lot of health to work with anymore, and he can't really repair torpedo damage. So he's going to have to be careful about taking too many. But that Benson will have to make a move for Bravo soon, or kill El Robin. You can- oh, there he is! He just got spotted. Coming around the side of the island while he made a break for Bravo. El Robin's guns are loaded. He's got to swing them that way. He's got to hope the torpedoes aren't coming. And the Benson's gone. <laughs> Figures just as his guns turned. And yeah, still going on in chat. Talking about how they would there would have been multiple planes. I would was going to spot. Whatever. I refuse to acknowledge you're wrong. Blah, 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 blah. And you can see El Robin telling them to shut the hell up because it's distracting. <laughs> Which kind of goes both ways. You're distracted because you're typing in chat and you're distracted by chat. Which one of those is their fault. One of them I guess you could fix. But it's mainly because of them. 
But this Benson is out of smoke, and you can see one of the salty guys telling him not to read chat. Chat's a big source of information usually, but he the thing is he did get spotted and you can see he kind of knows that. So that means the Benson did pop out of that smoke cloud. He is still in Bravo because he's capping, and now we're going to find out when he leaves, if he does, because now they're both sitting on his cap. Somewhere in the smoke ahead of him is that Benson. So it's going to come down to this. Which ship can kill the other? And nope, he was not behind the smoke, he was behind the island. El Robin leads him, fires, and 3,000 damage. Took out one torpedo launcher though. But it wasn't before the Benson got them off. And you can see the chat already reacting like they lost. There's one torpedo hit, there's two torpedo hits. He pops both repairs, the Benson starts firing his guns, but the rear gun has taken out the Benson. And El Robin has won the game with a little bit of tricky sailing and some good aiming. So good job to El Robin carrying his team there and surviving, I guess, the shit fest that was chat. Like I said, really hard to decide what I wanted to put this in, but in the end of the day, I wanted to put it in salty because just that whole chat conversation was terrible. It was really distracting to the guys trying to live through the game and push for a victory like you saw El Robin do. And since it was harping on that Benson, or not the Benson, the Lo Yang, it technically is a Benson, it was probably really distracting to him as he went through to try to play his ship and uh, I guess maneuver? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure what he would have done with that Benson bearing down on him. Either way, if you're going to say stuff in chat guys, save it till you know the game's definitely lost or at least keep it constructive i mean i'm i can't really say too much i do it all the time where i'm i blame people for my death but at the same time it's easier to support the teammates that you aren't blaming and say all right this ship's at this amount of health they're at this position uh you could do this don't try to don't take it too far as to be instructing the enemy team or the friendly team on how to play their ships, but you can give them hints. You can say, hey, try this. The enemy ship's over here. He could possibly come around here. That sort of thing. Either way, good job to El Robin for carrying this game. Hopefully that star helped you get towards rank one, or at least towards whatever your goal was. And I guess good luck. See you guys out there. Have fun. And uh, see you next time.